Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with Nitrogen Fertilizer Outlook for 2023 Decisions. We have seen fertilizer prices increase dramatically over the last year. In August of 2021, we were looking at anhydrous ammonia prices between $750 and $800 a ton, and that increased to February, immediately before the Ukraine-Russia conflict began in earnest to about $1,500 a per ton. After that conflict, we saw anhydrous ammonia increase to over $1,600, but in recent months, they have receded back to below $1,500 to 1469 While that decrease is welcome, we are still looking at anhydrous ammonia price and other DAP and potash prices well above their historical averages, and the last time we saw anhydrous ammonia prices above $1,000 was back in 2008 in the financial crisis then. As we move forward and look at our outlook for fertilizer prices, it's going to be very much dependent on geopolitical events. Western Europe is trying to reduce its flow of natural gas from Russia, and Russia is, is threatening to cut off supplies to Germany, and Western Europe. If that happens, we will at the very least see ammonia prices and nitrogen fertilizer prices from Europe being much higher than those produced in North and South America. We would also likely see, could see, a recession which will have large impacts on grain and fertilizer markets. Similarly, China is a major fertilizer producer, and it could restrict flows of fertilizer from China. There is also a threat of a recession in China, mainly due to its stringent COVID policies, and if that recession would happen, it would have ramifications for lower prices, grain prices, and could also hit the fertilizer markets. If we are looking at the two factors that are associated with higher and lower uh, anhydrous ammonia prices, one of those is natural gas. Natural gas has reached high levels in recent months, being over 7 and close to $8 per million BTUs in the first weeks of July. That is a high level, and that even exceeds the level that occurred back in September 2008, when we were looking at a the other financial crisis. The other factor that is related to natural gas prices is corn prices. Corn prices are at high levels, but they have been receding in recent weeks. They still are at high levels and would point to high nitrogen fertilizer costs going into the fall. However, the the declines in corn prices in recent months also point to the fact that they could recede further in future months. As we're looking at the decisions that farmers must make, one of those is to purchase in August and September, a practice that many farmers do. And we have to remember when we're doing that that there is no guarantee that nitrogen prices will not decline from those prices that we purchase at in August and September. Typically, when we're looking at nitrogen fertilizer prices, and in particular anhydrous ammonia prices, they do increase as we grow through the later in the planting season. Typically, March, April, and May prices are $50 to $60 per ton higher than what they are in August. However, there's a wide range in prices, and as we saw last year, they were much higher in that March, April, and May period. This year, the June price, 2020 price, was $873 higher than the August price. The reverse of that happened in 2008 and 2009, when in August and September, we were looking at over $1,100 anhydrous ammonia prices, and those prices fell throughout the planting season, being $400 or more lower in the spring. What that suggests is that if we are going to purchase nitrogen in August and September, we would 
likely be good from a risk management standpoint to price some of the corn. Remember that anhydrous ammonia prices and corn prices are correlated. So if we're purchasing nitrogen now um, and, and the price of nitrogen declines, it's likely that corn prices have declined as well. Some other strategies to think about is split applications, applying some of it in the fall and some of it in the spring and some of it in the post plant. Pricing at different points in time mean that we're averaging our input over the growing season. We might also want to think about post-applying nitrogen, and if we're doing that, we might want to consider the PACE endorsement. That's a crop insurance endorsement that provides payments if we are unable to apply nitrogen post-plant. You can read more about these decisions in our outlook in the FarmDoc Daily, link to the video description below.